What is up YouTube? Nuke Penguin here and today I am bringing you guys a very special video. It is a tutorial on when using the Roxio game capture on how to sync live audio commentary with your gameplay. Uh, a lot of people when doing let's plays like to record themselves live and they you know they do that through whatever means they have. Uh, with the Roxio game capture you can do it but you don't capture game audio. If you want to capture both, you're going to need a, an external program. Uh, a good free one is Audacity, right here. And, of course, you'll need the Roxio program as well. Now, you're going to need two things. You're going to need your, if I can get to it, video. That you recorded of your gameplay, and your live why did I X out of that? Your live audio commentary, which you recorded at the same time. And here I have it named the same thing. Okay. So once you have that, it's it's pretty standard. You start out you start off your recording in this software. You capture, and then you click, and you hit stop capture or start capture not stop capture uh, ignore the the amazing effect in there of infinite windows and you'll need to be recording at the same time as you can see I have the audacity waveform up of my current recording and I should probably minimize this so I can stop doing infinite anyways you, you'll see here the the the, the, the waveform for what I'm recording right now. It's very nice. Anyways, so once you have that up, you're going to want to bring up the edit. Well, not once you have that. Once you have your video finished and you got everything nice and done, you want to go to edit and share. And I really hope this doesn't conflict with the recording. It shouldn't. I should be able to capture while I'm recording. Okay. So you're going to want to create a new production. And to start off with, you're going to want to drag your video in. Or not drag, but as you can see, I have my Bioshock Clash in the Clouds guide ready to go. I bring that in. You can see it on the timeline below down here. Now, when you create the video, when you start off, when you want, when you want to create a video with live audio, you're going to want to start off your, your video recording like this. Just observe. You're going to start off at some point in your recording, you're going to bring up the jewel. Any minute now. I actually have no remembrance of when I brought up the jewel in this. There we go. So you're going to bring up the jewel. Now I'm going to pause this. Now what you see there is me moving the controller down and up down and up, down and up, just in random patterns. Now, I want you to ignore this video for a minute. You're going to bring in your audio. And actually, it has it ready to go. Fantastic. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add it on the music track. Now, if you listen to this audio, you can see what I'm saying, or hear what I'm saying, unless you have extra sensory something or other. Okay. Testing, testing, one... All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. What you hear there is me saying down, down, up, down, up, up, over and over again in just random patterns. What I'm doing is I'm coinciding it with my movements on the controller. Now, let's go ahead and control Z that audio out of there. So when you are recording and you start your live narration, you are going to want to create what is called a sync point. This allows you to sync your audio later on in post-production or pre yeah, in post-production. It I'm trying to figure out the best way to explain this. When you do it, 
and you hit down on the controller, you want to try to time it so that when you start to say down, the the next option is highlighted. For example, we'll, we'll fast forward a bit to where I started to bring up the jewel. Now, if you can time it right and it looks right when you're saying it on screen and everything, that's perfect. What you're going to want to do in editing is bring it up, bring it, bring in your video first, and we'll just wait out this time. Now, I know it's somewhere around 24 seconds, but I'm not quite sure where. So when it comes up, there we go. It comes up. You're going to want to start pausing it slowly but surely. Just going a few frames ahead each time. Now, as you can see, the next option is highlighted. However, I'm not sure in what frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it up by using the previous frame option. And there we go. It looks like right there is where it, it went through. So we'll skip forward. And as you can see, it went right down right there. So what I do is I get it to the frame just before it goes down. Then I cut the video here. I use the split option by highlighting the video and hitting split the selected item. What that's going to do is that's going to cr basically create the basis for your sync point. As you can see, I have two separate video files here now. One with the, the chunk of me just doing nothing and then right and then one right one frame just before it drops down. You're going to leave that as is and you're going to bring in your background audio. Uh, there we go. And add it to the music track. Whoops. Mistake. Make sure that your your line to indicate where you are in the video is at the beginning because you don't want to screw up the placement of your audio. You're just going to add it on the music track. Now, one thing you're going to want to do not one thing. What you're going to want to do is listen to your audio and listen with me now. Okay. I testing, test. I always start off each one by saying testing, testing, one, two, three, two times. Testing, one, oh, crap. There we go. Well, all right. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And then you're going to frame by, you're going to want to frame by frame it again until you start to hear the duh in down. We'll just go ahead and do that. Down. Okay. I'm going to back it up a few frames because I started to say O2. Oh, and then you're going to do the same thing you did with the, the video except for with the audio. You're going to highlight it and split it. Then you want to delete the first section of audio, drag the main audio far as, uh, well, again, Whenever doing this, make sure your line is at the beginning of the video and drag it as far left as you possibly can. Or you could not work. That'd be fantastic. We'll zoom in a bit because I know I don't have it just right. There we go. For some reason, it wasn't working, but you can drag it as far left as you possibly can. Again, we'll zoom in just to make sure it's as far in there as possible. And yes, it is. Whoops. Sorry, this is my first computer tutorial. I've never done anything like this. Then you're going to want to zoom out until you can see both chunks of your video. Now delete the first chunk of video. And as you can see, the main video has moved left to compensate the space that was missing. So one thing about this program is it doesn't let you put video where you want and needs to have a video in the space. So if we now go ahead and hit play and listen, we should hear it sync up with the video. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, down, up. Now, it's not necessarily perfect, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to take the time to get it perfect. But if you finagle around with it and try cutting it like a few frames before or a few frames after, you'll eventually get it to sound 
just how you want it to sound. Now, to make for easier video editing, when you want to split up the video and cut out chunks or do transitions, the easiest thing to do, you don't want to leave this audio separate. Because when the audio is separate and you go to edit the video, it, it, it will throw things out of sync when, where you cut it off and all that stuff. So one of the easiest things to do is to copy this, click on that, right click, go to edit and in, edit internal tracks. That will bring you to internal tracks on the video. Now, this is a bit difficult and I would suggest using a mouse for it, but what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on this white line on the music track uh, and you can see I'm one frame off. You want to get to where it's zero frames. I can do this. Oh, wow, that is even worse. Let's try this one more time. Come on. Okay. When you right click, you want to make sure it says zero, zero, zeros across the board. That means you're right at the beginning of the video. You're going to want to paste your audio in. And then when you're done with that, click done. Now to test to make sure that you still have it synced properly, go ahead, hit, go ahead and hit play. What you should hear is an amplified version of your voice coming out of the speakers. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up, up. Now, as you could hear from that small bit, it, it just sounds like my voice is louder. And that means that the audio is synced up in both sections. So you don't hear any type of overlay or, or missteps. So once you have that done, you go ahead and you're good, you're good to go with deleting the external music. Now, if you listen, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, 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 you have your audio and your video in one convenient track. Now, of course, with creating a sync point, you're going to have to wait till some further point in the video to begin your, your actual video. For example, let's say I started at one minute. Or actually, I didn't start at one minute in this video. I started about, whoops. I started about, well, let's just say I started around 1.30. Actually, that's extremely close to where I start. I start at 138. What I like to do in my videos is take a deep breath to know that I'm about to start talking. As you could, if you were listening, you could hear a <gasps> sound. So I just stopped it just before I started talking. If you want to go ahead and edit your video at that point, you go ahead and highlight the whole video track, split the selected item, and then delete the first one. That will give you what is up, YouTube. Nuke Penguin here, and welcome to my half guide, half uh, let's play of the Bioshock Infinite DLC Clash in the Clouds. So now it's it's what it, what I did is basically compact it all into one video file. So if I wanted to, I could say let's just for for tutorial sake split it here. Split it here. Uh, cannot be split at that position. It's too small. What? This. Oh, ha. I had the wrong thing highlighted. Split it there. And just say, take out that middle section. And then let's go ahead and start it eh, a few seconds before the new one. DLC Clash in the Clouds. That scene. Now, as you can tell, it brings us to the clouds. Uh, the audio is still synced. It makes it, like I said, it makes it into one convenient track. If you need to split episodes that you have all in one recording, like say you recorded four episodes in one recording, you can easily split it up. And how you split it up and how you export it is up to you if necessary. If you guys would like, I can create a tutorial to, uh, on basic editing in, in yeah, I can talk. For for basic editing while using the Roxio game capture, uh, with this specific video wave, Roxio video wave program. Uh, 
I mean, I, I have a specific method. You may have some other way you want to do it, but I would not hesitate to help you all out with this. So, and actually I'll be using these same exact tools to create this video, this tutorial right now. So I hope you all found this tutorial helpful. And if you guys need any more help, I will be willing to help anybody who asks. I'll create videos. I'll provide in-depth walkthroughs with text or even with videos. I'm just happy to help people get their videos out there. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I, I hope this tutorial helped you guys a lot. And I hope you all will watch some of my videos that I have created using these tools and methods. Thanks for watching.